Milwaukee Brewers hosting the New York Mets. Both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line. The over under is seven and a half runs. The Mets laying a run and a half for plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. The Brewers getting a run and a half for minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Carrasco pitched once against the Brewers last year. Four innings, five runs, five earned. They lost that game eight to four in Milwaukee. Ashby pitched once against the Mets this year. Four and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game 5-4, to four, and that was in New York. The Mets are on a five-game winning streak this 7-3 in their last 10, 44-29 on the road, 80-68 on the run line, and 42-30 and on the run line on the road. The Brewers are on a two-game losing streak this 6-4 in their last 10, 41 and 29 at home, 61 and 85 on the run line, and 30 and 39 on the run line specifically at home. Head to head, the Mets are on a two game winning streak. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The over has hit in their last three games. The under is five and nine. One game didn't have an over under. The under seven and a half specifically is six and four. The underdog getting a run and a half is six and four. There have been three one run games in their last 10 meetings. The Mets hit lefties for an average of three, uh, 237. I'm going Mets with the money line, Mets laying the runs and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.